In 1962, General of the Army Douglas MacArthur made his final visit to the United States Military Academy at West Point. While he was there, he spoke to the Corps of Cadets about the motto of West Point. Uh, Harold Walters, several years later, took MacArthur's words and used them as the narration for a new piece of music. And so please enjoy Duty, Honor, Country. Duty, honor, country. A code of conduct and chivalry of those who guard this beloved land. An ideal so noble that it arouses a sense of pride and yet humility. An expression of the ethics of the American man at arms. Duty honor, country. Those three words build courage when courage seems to fail, regain faith when there seems to be little cause for faith, create hope when hope seems forlorn. The American man-at-arms above all other people prays for peace, for he must suffer and bear the deepest wounds and scars of war. Duty, honor, country. The unbelievers will say they are but words, a slogan or a flamboyant phrase. Every demagogue, every cynic, and every hypocrite will try to downgrade them to the extent of mockery and ridicule. The code which those words perpetuates will stand the test of any ethics or ever published for the uplift of mankind. Around a thousand campfires, on a hundred battlefields, listening for the witching melody of faint bugles blowing reveille, far off drums beating the long roll. This is the story of the American man at arms. His name and fame are the birthright of every American citizen. In his youth and strength, his love and loyalty, he gave all that mortality can give. He has never failed us. Were he to do so a million ghosts in olive drab, in brown khaki, in blue and gray would rise from their white crosses thundering those magic words, duty, honor, country.